Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you one how to change your um, your Mac's boot up drive. So, which either partition on your Mac it boots from when you turn your Mac on, or what external drive or other hard drives you may have in your Mac to boot from. Um, if you might, this might be changed if you've ever installed a new Leopard or a Snow Leopard onto another partition of your hard drive. Say you've got Snow Leopard server at home, and you wanted to install that onto another partition of your hard drive, you would install it onto the other partition, which would make that the primary boot drive. But as it may not be what you would primarily boot into, you would like to change it. And most people don't actually know this is a feature inside Mac OS X that you can change. Because if you're used to a computer, you'd go into the BIOS and you'd be able to quickly change the primary boot drive. And then you'd be able to change your settings in there. But if you go to system system uh, preferences, it's down the bottom, or you can find it on your hard drive. And go into it, and you can see here you've got there is a startup disk. It's next to time machine, and it's in the second row up. If you've got others, and once you're inside here, you can see that you could start your computer up, your Mac up from network. So you could find a network on the a disk on the network that may have a copy of Snow Leopard on it or Leopard or whatever you might want on it. Um, here's my Windows Boot Camp partition, and there's the Mac OS X hard drive, and you can see it's got 10.6.3 on it, which is the latest update that I've just done, and that's the one that you want it to be on. So just simply click on it, and it highlights it, and now. When I um, boot my Mac up, it will go into Boot Camp, but I obviously want this. And you can push restart to test it, but I obviously know this works. And you can change some other features in here. And it's a good idea to keep the lock on, because if the lock's on, next time you install a, a copy of Leopard or Snow Leopard, it will not be able to change this itself. You'll have to come in here and change it. But as you can see, if I zoom in here, this one's still you can see it's crystal clear and this one here is cloudy and that means that this one here has been selected so you can change your startup disk using this there is other software that you can get, I'm not sure what they're called but you can find them on the internet um, thanks for watching my video remember to comment, rate and subscribe, comments are very useful if you comment you can enter competitions and other um, competitions and subjects like this um, remember to visit, visit my website, it's fredblogger.com um, I'll put a link in the description and you can find me on Facebook and Twitter